Lloyd who? I've been busy. Lloyd Christopher. But his name is not back. Okay. All right. Hey, Denny was just pointing out where the Pittsburghs lived up on the corner. All right. And this is Minnie Palmer and Vern Palmer. And that would be Neva Thompson would be Neva Thompson's mother, mother would be the kids. It's Minnie. Well, it's Minnie. Yeah. yeah. So that would be Bill's grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. So is that Neva's mother? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And where where's the house? Is that in town? Right up, yeah, right up, um, well, after you go by Sam Falls, is this one over here? It's the Hi. first one up there. The first one after the freeway. Yeah. Mark over here. John Petrie had it, and I don't remember what he looked like. This is Grace Petrie. She had thousands of cats. Ronnie Palmer was That was, uh, now the Petrie that owned the store, what was his name? John Petrie. That's why I want to look at the one. And that's his wife? I need to get no, my glasses. No, no, no relation. Oh, no relation? <laughs> Petrie yelled out. It's not a bill you haven't grown. That looks like Eugene uh, uh, Rittenhouse, is it? Say. Yeah. Uh, who's that? Goodman, my yeah. That's Gene Rittenhouse? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So where's Gene now? Is he He's around? Passed away. Oh, he passed away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What we'd like to do is, uh, first of all, thank everybody for being here. The people that are here, it's their misfortune they aren't. This is the first time we've had a Tuscarora quote reunion down here. And uh, we're looking forward in the future to having a few more down here. So what I'd like to do is just go around the tables and enter, have people introduce themselves and their, any of their family that are here. And then um, when we do that, and then, uh, we'll get the food out, we'll take and eat, and then we got more information about the village in Tuscarora. Dave Palmer and Doug Morgan got some information that they want to share with us. And so, um, and also state where you're from. So uh, we have an idea of what part of the country we're representing here tonight. So I think, why don't we start right at this table? Right here. Okay. <laughs> Young man, would you tell us who you what, Well, I'll tell you what, I'll have somebody do it for you. This is my grandson, Curtis Pearson. This is a grand nephew, Doug Thompson. He's from Virginia. He's from West Florida. This is Mark Pearson. You want to tell him? No. Okay. No. Go ahead. <laughs> Jerry Fagan, Lester, married to Carolyn Morgan. <laughs> Carolyn Morgan used to be a edict, right? No. 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 Morgan. 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 Yes. Morgan. She's a Morgan. Morgan. Carolyn Morgan Fagan. There. Okay. Carolyn Morgan Fagan. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Shirley. Lee. Shirley George Lee, married to this handsome guy back here. Jack Lee. And you used to be a George. I said well, Shirley. Well, I'm one out Okay, we'll go. Bob? Bob Thompson, Joan Tallman, Bob Morrison, none day. Transplanted Rich. <laughs> Transplanted Ridge. I love that. And I add a little bit to that with Bob when he was the supervisor in the, the town of Mount Morris. He's the one that helped get the money appropriated for this building that's here. So. Hey. It helps to know have politics. <laughs> My husband, Dad, Pebbles, and we live in Wayland. Doug, you sir, point to him and you're getting money. Okay, go ahead. Sheila Montgomery Preston from Danville. And I was wondering, while you're introducing yourself, if you could say what your connection is to Tuscarora, just in case everybody doesn't know. Well, I live right down at the end of the street. Uh, you, you related to the Levies that are up in Dutch Street Cemetery? Levies? Levies? Oh, I'm George. 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 Well, who, ben. who is the Lee? Levy. 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 down there. Okay, Gertie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we can go over here. Well, Walton Barrel Levy. Live on the High Bank Road, Mount Morris. And this was my dad's lot. I thought it was Walter Benjamin Harrison Peewater Lee. Walt <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, had many names, I'll tell you that right now. All right, we'll go back here then with Millie. I'm Millie Height, Millie Thompson, Diane's sister, Jean Moffat's sister-in-law. This is my friend Dan. 
Hi, Dan. She lived on the wrong side of the track. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're up next. Dennis. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Come here, <laughs> Mouth. Dennis Thompson, the young and best looking one of the family. <laughs> I'm from Stephen City, Virginia. And I also lived on the wrong side of the track. <laughs> and he was the most innocent boy in Tuscarora. That's what I heard, yeah. yeah. And still is. I bet you know. Boy, some of them don't agree with that, Daddy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Aggie George, and I live in Dansville, but I'm originally from Tuscarora. Okay, and your family's name was? George. George, okay. Well, my name is Sacro Letza. I'm living in Tuscarora, right? Creek right here. Good. My husband. <laughs> Yeah, Clyde Retzer, my wife Rosie, moved here 25 years ago when I retired from the Air Force and I uh, didn't want to leave, so I stayed on. Hey. 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 All right, we're going to go out here. I'm Christina. Uh, <laughs> okay. It gets harder as we go on. Yeah, this is a long one. I'm Christina from Virginia, <laughs> okay. friend of Dale Thompson. Son of Dale Thompson. <laughs> Were you so oh, yeah, okay. Dale, we will take over these rebels, you know, when they come. Yeah, all right. She did. You her. notice he speaks right up. Yeah. You know her? I was just driving by. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but he's getting back. No, 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 no. I'm Lori Haight Pearson. My mother, Millie Thompson, is my. And mother. I'm just here. Well, she's my mother. Where do you live now? I live in West Barta. Okay. Pauline Halbert, my husband Jerry, my daughter Amy, and our granddaughter Haley. And we're friends of Gina and Diane, and we ended up buying land here in Union Corners, and we've been here for 23 years. Wow. Good. Doc, Doc, we back here. We got a couple of we got some back here sneaking in and All right, I, I, <laughs> What we're doing is introducing yourselves and your affiliation with Tusk War. Well, I'm a Van Wagner and lived up at Union Corners and everybody knows my brother Don. But we live in Batavia. And Joe Van Wagner, he's a uh, grandson and he'll probably carry carry the name on wherever. Great. Wife Wilma. Hi, yes. Wilma. We live in Batavia. Great. I think we, uh, we have there were two more there. back there that came. We're trying to catch them. We're okay. To, we're going to catch you, so we'll try sneaking around yeah, here. We're trying to sneak yeah. around. That's Denny's job. I think you're up next. Okay. My name is Lowell Conrad, and I think the reason I was yeah. invited is that my father was the minister of this church from 1947 to 61. And this is my wife, Joanne. We live in Geneseo. What was your father's name? George Conrad. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, okay. Okay. Hurry up, people. All right, here comes some more. <laughs> we'll, we'll let him get here. Okay, okay. One, one over here in the middle. Wait, wait a minute. We got, yes, we have a right here. He was down there and he snuck around. <laughs> you guys are bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm Tom Pearson, married to her, who's related by by motherhood to Millie Thompson, wherever she is. Okay. There she is down there. Gene Moffat's his uncle. That's right. <laughs> yeah. oh. We have we got one over here. One that one there and then two more just right. The okay. one right here next to Jack Lee is Scott Cartwright. Uh, he's Scott, a friend. Scott Cartwright. Uh, Shirley George is my mother. That's me. And uh, married to Jack Lee now, my stepfather. And uh, living currently in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, grew up here as a kid. No, they, uh, he off he works for US oh, what time frame? The 50s? <laughs> no, no. Come on. Give me a little break. <laughs> Later? A little bit later, yeah. Oh, 55 on. Okay, well. <laughs> we had uh, two more back here. Hi. Hi. What we're doing is everybody's introducing themselves and what their connection is to Tuscarora and where you live now. And we are, uh, I'm Miles Bonnie Turner, and we live up the Crick Road towards Nunday for 25 years, and my wife is the connection, so she can tell you all about that. She's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Westfoot's daughter, Wesley Foot. Okay, and, yes. Um, let me see. I've lived here for my entire life, which is a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Did you say that again? What year was that now? 
Fifty one. I'm out of here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Steve Moffat is fifty-two years old. Oh, oh. 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 that's right. Okay. Yeah. All right, now we're we're back down here in the center. Hold it, Doug. We got everybody on this end. Yes. Okay, this end can eat that, huh? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hi. Hi, Bill Learns, my wife Susan. Hi, so. Uh, I bought the Morgan store on the left hand side next to Grange in the 60s. I still own it, my son's still retired. Oh, beautiful. Uh, okay. Yep. Well, that's my grandmother's place. I'm a Morgan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're. There's Shirley. You gonna talk or you gonna let your husband talk? That's right. I'm Dave Palmer's, my wife Shirley. We live in the Sedan Farm, born and raised in Tuscarora. In the Sedan Farm, okay. Which is uh, one of the early settlers. All right. These, uh, your family too, or are you just hanging on to them? Okay. Then we're gonna come over here next. Is that okay? Uh, I'm Sherry Blazak. I used to be a Van Dorn. We had a farm outside of Tuscarora, and I've always lived in Melbourne most of the time. And these are my granddaughters, Jesse and Jenny. Van Dorn. And I'm her mother, Dorothy Rittenhouse. You're Dorothy Rittenhouse. I want to talk with you. Well, no, no, no. I've got, I've got a um, some chapters of the book by Jesse Rittenhouse, oh. where she talks about the farm and everything. Oh. Okay, going over here. Mary Morgan Edick. Yep. I've been here 69 years in Tuscarora. <laughs> wow. That's right. I'm Lula Phoenix. Okay. Still live in Tuscarora. He still lives with me. Can you still lives with you. All right. Great. We're going to swing right around. Neoma Smith, Monday. Uh huh. I'm a granddaughter of George and Liz Moffat of Tuscarora. Okay. And they live outside? Is that Gene's family? Or? Yeah, that'd be some of Gene's family, yes. You want to try something difficult there? There's two Thompsons in Tuscarora. <laughs> Trying to keep those families straight. Hi. John Rowe. I live in West Florida. Yep. I've there all my life. Spent a lot of time in Tuscarora. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is your wife? No. 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 <laughs> well, we cleared that up. Yeah. You are? I hire me and I live in Mount Morris. I did live up Monday. Ah. And your connection to Tuscarora? Uh, I went to Monday school. Did you? I knew everybody. Knew a lot of people from... Uh, I lived up at Union Corners. <laughs> Swing around the back side. Come on, Mary. Get all beautiful. You're going okay. to camera here. I'm Dorothy, Dorothy Smith. I am Monday. I used to go to school here in Tuscarora, and I'm related to George and Elizabeth Moffat. <laughs> Okay. When you went to school, was it the one here? Uh huh. Okay. And, uh, Mrs. Crubbin, Mrs. Hey, Crubbin you know, was my teacher, the best teacher I had. Okay. Hi there. How are you doing? Good. Hi. How are you today? Dandy. Okay. Bill and Marion Palmer. I've only been here 65 years. Yeah. No big deal, but. <laughs> And we've been married, what? 40. 40 years. 40 years. We've lived here ever since. We lived right out of Tusky up on Wildcat Road. Oh, okay. And uh, that's about all I can say. Outside we got a son and they've been what, three kids living here in Tusky and... Uh, Everybody's close. And Denise, she's going to be down here in six months. She's building right about us. Where, where'd you go to school? Did you go here? Monday. Oh, you went to Monday. Oh, no, I went to Scipio. You went, oh, okay. You went to the school up by the cemetery. Isn't there a cemetery up there? Well, not not very close. Not very close? Okay. Well, it's uh, it's it's on Lee and Conkler. It's not like Jerry. Jerry, how are you doing? It was uh, oh, a half mile up from the corner. Great. Thanks. Hi, how are you tonight? And you are? Alzina Smith Flint. Uh-huh. I was born in Union Corner and used to come down here to church and graduated from Monday school. And I live in the park. Live in the park? Great. Thank you. Yeah. 
This is Montgomery, you're next. I'm coming around. Okay. Molly Montgomery, and I've been in Tuskegee since uh, 45. Since 45. And Sheila Preston, my daughter, Terry Montgomery, and Brian. And you're originally from? My other city. Okay. And we moved up here in 45. We moved up here in 45. Huh? Who lived in your house before you did it? Uh, Bevere, Bevere, I think. I think that's yeah. it. What was your husband's name? It was, he passed away, Vincent. Vincent, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're coming back here. Uh, hey, what's your, hey, look at this. What's your du dueling camcorders. Well, I'm going to do that too. When, it, when it's my turn, I just turn this right around. I look right into the lens and I go ahead and talk. But you're a professional. <laughs> well, well, all right, we'll go with you then. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm Dale Thompson. I'm Glenn and Neva Thompson's best son. Best son. We heard that. And I'm Dennis's Thompson's younger brother. <laughs> and I'm Millie Thompson's older brother. Well, okay. Younger brother. No, older. She's younger than I am. Tonight. Really? Yes, tonight she is. Oh, you're so nice. And then I have, that was my son, uh, out there in the blue, Dale the second. Oh, with the, with junior. The, okay. And then my grandson, Dale the third, was over in that corner. I've got uh, three grandchildren here, four grandchildren here. I don't know where they're at now. <laughs> they're over, oh, there they are, they're out there in there. Oh, they're up on the uh, playground, okay. Okay, great. Generations of Dale. He's all going to show Go ahead. All right. Okay. Step up to the mic. Step up to the mic, Raj. I'm Roger Carpenter. My folks live in the house, the old Dale Vern house by the hotel. Come here in 1948. Okay, what, what was the name of the house? Well, uh, Dale Vern house, but the Carpenter. Your dad's okay. name. Okay. Yeah, Clyde Rosella Carpenter. And he was bad ever since he hit town. <laughs> the funniest guy in town. Uh, yes, you're Hi, how are you tonight? All right, we're coming over this way. We got wait, this wait. introductory. Dad, Where do you want to start? This is Larry Quinsenberry, Stephen, my son's father-in-law, first trip to New York City. How about that for a party? Oh, okay, Larry. great. This is my daughter-in-law, Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi. This is Stephen, race car driver. This is Craig Thompson, my that's Gene and Diane's my youngest son. Right, that's yours. Yeah. Uh, this is my youngest son. Don't, don't need to ignore you and only talk to him. I can get it. I'm going to show him the shirt again. And Diane will be here later. She's really the one that really helped us organize How about you? My name is Doug Morgan. My wife is back here. Come on, we'll go this way. And your wife's name? My wife's name is Sandy. Yay, Sandy! Now she's a local girl. She's from Dansville, the other side of the creek. Um, as I said, my name's Doug Morgan. I am Leslie and Ernestine Morgan's grandson. Morgan's ran the store from 1932 to 1962. First it was in the Petrie's old store, and then after my grandfather died in 1958, we moved Ernestine, I think about 1960, we moved Ernestine over to the house, Mary's probably got more on that than I do, and we put a store in the front of the Morgan home, and now that home belongs to, who's up in the, uh, well, we don't really know, but the home's still there. We learn, right? Huh? That's Billy Lurk. I think so. The one on this side of the street. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's Billy Lurk. The father's right there. Oh, all right. And my, and my father is was Les Morgan, and Carolyn Fagan is my aunt, and Mary Edick, who still lives in Tuscarora, is my aunt. And this is what we looked like in 1998. Okay. I think we can eat now. Right. That's a good picture. That's yeah. compliments of John. Yeah. Who's this out here? Who is it? Yeah, there. He just stepped in here. Let's see. <laughs> 
I got some in the microphone over there. But that's it. Exactly. But I have one in there. Oh, this is this one in front. I see her quite my mother when she was pregnant with me. Who is it? Really? Really? <laughs> I used to babysit with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Whose kids are those two? Velma's. Oh, okay. He's married to Butch, remember? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. How are you? How are you? How long have you been up? God, he was pissed off at all. There are a lot of them here. I into a niece of Gertie Lee on the internet. She lives in uh, Dansville now. I can't remember her name. Oh, that's, um... We need to ask Carolyn. Um, or not Carolyn. Gertie Lee's niece. Oh. I ran into her on the internet. Jack? Shirley George. Omar? What was her name? I can't remember. Um, she used to live in the old hotel. I can tell you. Who did? Just a minute. Shirley. Oh, you, um, you lived there, George. huh? Well... When my mom and dad had bought a part of it was torn down. Uh-huh. Actually, it's three different hotels. It's amazing. You think about it. Two doctors. I'd like to get in those buildings today. They look great. The ones up here. Are they local people or somebody from out of the area bought those buildings? We ran into a niece of uh, Gertie Lee's on the internet. She lives in Dansville. Oh, I'm, or maybe I'm remembering the Dansville part wrong. Oh, oh all right. Uh, we were on the internet one night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she was talking about Morgan Storm. Yeah, Lauren, and I said, well, yeah, that's my grandparents. Pat Harder. Store. She said, well, I, I used to go right here. Pat Harder. Pat Harder, that sounds it. Yep. She's been uh, doing the uh, family history of the leaving. Oh, okay. She's got, oh, way back. She's, She's been, uh, I talked to her quite often. She was a Jacobs, I think. Okay. The woman you were talking to? Uh-huh. With yeah. a name S, maiden name, E-S-S. -S. Oh, yeah. Had to be S. So there's a lot of S's, and her brother was in Dansville. Mm -hmm. He had, uh, I don't know, a son and a couple of daughters that had married and lived right in the Dansville area. What was that name? Yeah, I, I think... It is Pat. That, that rings a bell. Her name is now Pat Harder. Pat Harder. I don't. I haven't never kept up with them. I don't know where they went or who they married or anything. Over yeah. There. Yeah. She. Yeah. Because she. Uh, oh yeah. 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 Because she contacted all. She just went out and found this family history. And uh, she got it. Because she's related to the leaders too. God, we must have been related. I forgot about Pat because she came from. I forget how she's related to the uh, Lee here. That's real close to Allegheny State. Right. The Lee that used to live here in Hamilton. Yeah. 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 The reason they did it was it hooked up in the Allegheny yeah. River outside of Olean. Yeah. Water. yeah, you could actually go from here all the way down to New Orleans. Allegheny went into the Ohio. The Ohio went into the Mississippi. That was like Main Street. But no, you know, no relation. Actually, what it did, it generated more revenue for the Erie Canal than did anything else. They would take the supplies, the wood, the uh, timber, shingles, potash, yeah. some flour, but not an awful lot after a while. They'd take it to Rochester and actually got shipped back towards Albany. It was a big market. Hey, they used to raise a lot of hay and ship it, too, because they could get such good prices for it. So much, so much good uh, wages, they sell it by the pound. Yep. <laughs> remember any of those? These guys, I all remember. Who's this then? This? Yeah. There's Evan, Dale, Danny, Cliff, and Kenny. Is this outside the church? Yeah, when uh, when Dolores when Dolores Levy got married. Okay. That was at her wedding. Uh, what was that? The old parsonage or? In, in, that's old. That's up in Dunday. That's oh, Carolyn and say. Mush Hartland and her mom and dad. Well, I was in that wedding. I was the ring boy. <laughs> oh yeah. You were? Yeah. I remember that. Well, I don't. I don't remember. The Merle up on the back of the church with the pine trees and stuff. And, uh, I'm too much. I can't. Yeah, I was, that's me. Right there. Yeah. That's me right there. Right, standing in the doorway. 
I had brown shoes. I got your picture then. Huh? I had brown shoes, and my mother was furious because I was in the wedding. She had to take black shoe polish <laughs> and make them black. My yeah. mother, I remember her doing that, yeah. Oh, well, I remember that. I was uh, I was probably five years old, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. And you know what I did? I lost the ring. They, I, they actually took it from me after I lost it once. <laughs> That's a, that was a reunion we had up to, up to my house. Wow. And who was that? Well, there was Millie and uh, Marlon and Janine and myself. These are all Palmers and, and yeah. Tom, Thompson's Thompson. Thompson. Thompson Palmer. Boy, I just barely remember Marilyn. Uh, my brother Ronnie. Okay. And Bill's hiding over here. Bill always hid or, or <laughs> head. Um, now these houses here, that looks like a right across that's Levy's house. Yeah, Levy's and Sipperly's. That would be this third house. Here. Now is this across from Mary and Lou's? I see the steps here. No, it's right here. Oh, up there. They had steps at that right time. Down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're on the upper road. See, there's there's two roads there. Yeah. It's split. See the new road, but where is it? Right straight through here. Okay. And this old road is still sort of the ridge there. Oh. You remember Jim Bryant? He used to hang around town here. He was only here a couple, couple of times. Were the Bryants that lived up over Sepio? No, no. He lived up on Moore Road. I didn't know. He was, I think he was kind of a, not, not a county kid, but they were. I was a second here. <laughs> what we're going to do, uh, Millen went up and get the meat trays. We're going to have two serving lines come right down on each side of the table. Um, and that will get us through faster and everybody get their food and get to the table and we won't have to wait very long for food. <laughs> I'd like to ask Dale Thompson to bless us, the food and the people that are here tonight. I'm sure he can do a fine job. Even though 50 years ago, I don't know if they'd ever considered him doing a job like this. He had the right words but the wrong order. <laughs> Talk about me, Dad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, let's pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the celebration that we're enjoying here tonight. We thank you, Father, for uh, the people that have come, and we pray for the people that couldn't make it tonight for one reason or another. We pray for the people that are hurting, Father, for any reason, uh, grieving because of the loss of a loved one or uh, someone that is sick or any financial problem. We just pray that you'll lift them up and bless them, Father. We pray that uh, you'll bless each one of us here tonight. We thank you for giving everyone that came, even from a long distance, Father, uh, a safe trip. And we pray that you'll give them travel mercies as they return. We pray, Father, that uh, you'll help us to build friendships here tonight. And thank you for renewing old friendships. We just pray that you bless us in a special way. We pray that the food that is going to be served here tonight will bless us and bring health and strength to our bodies in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Perfect time to meet here. Yeah. Dave, why don't you go over a few of these photographs while we got them out here. I want to find Grandpa's picture. Grandpa and his family, that's a not, real nice picture. That's Grandpa and Grandma Palmer. Right, that's Neva's mother. Right. right. Okay. Neva's and, and Dad. And that is your grandmother? My grandmother and grandfather. Get ready to go. Get ready to go. And this is this is Grandpa and Grandma. Or Gram, Grandpa and Grandma. Aunt Helen, Aunt Neva, oh. Aunt Ethel, my dad, and Uncle Butch Palmer. Good Neva. Yeah, this is their great grandmother Pierce, I think. And, and uh, where would this have been taken? Up at our house in, on the Wildcat Road. Okay. Yep. yep. This is Butch again. This is Butch, and this is Uncle Butch. Mm -hmm. As a kid, this is him here again. I, aunt, my aunt Neva gave me these pictures. She was moving up into her apartment. Yep. Grandpa. Denny and Denny and myself and cousin. This is uh, Aunt Velma, which is Uncle Butch's wife, and two of their first kids. Mm -hmm. The pet deer I used to have. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you have him? Up on the farm, in well, some place. Yep. Oh, that's a nice picture. This is Grandma again, and her sister, and her nurse, another sister, and her brother. 
I like that. I, I worked all one summer cutting lawn to get that buggy. What was Grandma Palmer's first name? Minnie. Minnie Palmer. Minnie, Cora, Lottie, and Fletcher. Okay. Yep, they're all cheese builders. That was the cheese bill line I did the research on. Oh, all right. That's Mr. and Mrs. Levy, and there's four or five of them here. Yeah, it's kind of nice to take him off. Roger, Roger's here. Roger, Roger Carpenter. Okay. Yep. And Carolyn. Yeah. Uh, for you. That's my <laughs> That's my two brothers and myself. That was the three girls when they were small or younger. That's uh, Lottie, Minnie, and Cora. That's those three girls in the buggy when they were younger. It's Bob Esther. This is another aunt. Uh -huh. Bob Esther from Nunday and Dick and Roy. Okay. Vern Palmer, who's my there? grandfather, that's his pistol permit application. Don McCall, and then they would get up. There's my brother Bill and myself on an old Chevy we cut down with a with a hand chisel. I asked him, I said, I'll see you in an hour. Because you can we just left. That's Jerry Johnson's brother. I didn't know, Jerry. Oh, I didn't, and, I didn't know that. I yep. I yep. heard you. I My brother and I are some of our oh, yeah, trap line, huh? Yeah. Fox and Coon, Skunks. Yep. I would leave the Skunks, my brother would get those. He went through there in the dark. Oh, my. There's my mother and father, Uncle Bob and Esther, and this is Glenn and Neva. That's Dale and Denny's. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And you can tell the age of the old flapper dresses. Yep. This is this is our family. Taking, making 40 something. And you're where? Ronnie, Bill's here. Ronnie's up fishing up in Canada. Lorraine, Betty, and Helen. That's what your mother used to tell me. Ronnie lives up on the hill here. Right, on Sipio. The base pizza. Right, pizza. Yeah. That's her. Tell me that. She's She's in. A couple pictures in here of her right there. This is Grace Beecher. Okay. Yeah. She lived all alone, farmed it there by herself. And she wasn't any relation to the PT that owned the store. Yeah. They were oh, she, okay. I think so. Yeah. All right. I think so. Yeah. That's what this was this was Grandpa in here from selling uh, Oldsmobile dealers. Oldsmobile right. dealers. Yeah. Okay. Now you said there's no dealership. Did you say it was? Uh, Oakland Motors. I've got a reference to it. Really. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that there was any relation. I can remember the Gracie. She used to have a can. Carolyn, did you see the picture with me in it from your wedding? And she saw cream. No, yeah, yeah that's right. That. He said, that's me right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right here. That seems to be. It's me in the doorway. No, this is not. This is uh, yours. Is, no, not her wedding. Yeah. Yours. Is. Yours. Oh, that's yours. That's wedding. not yours? Might be Dick Eddie. Ah. Too bad that you can't find out who they are. That's one wall. Yeah, that's our, that's our, our Is it? They said that was Levy's coming out of your wedding. Grandma, Grandpa, Uncle Butch. Well, I don't know. Great Grandma come. Her name was, uh, well, that was too young. Pierce. Is there a date on the back? Is there a date? This is one of the young ones. Janine Thompson. Who's the one in the back? I don't know. Larry the Actor. Really wants to cut. I think I got him a copy of this. That doesn't say it's a bad in our church. No? I my mother. They all look like random up. Oh, I know. We didn't know we were poor. Nobody told us. Hey, here's my car. I said that. Down the pond. Well, it might not be it. She said it was her? No, 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 she said it was her wedding. Well, that could have been, that's our church. 
Monday. Oh, that's Monday. Oh, that's Monday. Oh, that's Monday. Oh, that's Monday. Oh, okay. That's not Tusky. That's not me, then. No. Uh -huh. She was married up here. Okay. Erase that first statement. Okay. <laughs> That's how you find out. You pass it around, see if everybody remembers the same thing. He came home trying to Anything you remember, anything you want to jot down, just write right on the map. We're trying to figure out where we are. Where you are now? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just help him. I'm glad you told me. <laughs> well, here's the raceway. Here's the raceway. We were thinking you would. your house is probably in that site there, no? Too far up? Yeah. Yeah. Because here's the station. No, there is a big Now, wait, now, wait a minute. That could have been the garage at Palmer owned. This could be Chubbs. Which one? This one here. That one right there? Yeah, that could be Chubbs. It was a garage. Up in front of Chubbs? What was yeah, Chubbs' real yeah. name? Uh, I've always Carol, told him. Carl I never heard. I always Carol heard Edwards. Edwards. And he was a conductor, right? Right. Yeah. 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 And this ER Krebling, I think, is this here? But that's back a lot too far. And that reminds me, my governor, you got my. And we aren't, we aren't that. We aren't that far, you know. I mean, we aren't that far up front. Right. That could be the that could be the garage there, hmm? or the uh, no, Grange, the Grange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that the is the Grange. It it could be because they might have. We were talking about this in some of the other maps, like the cheese factory. It looks like they they turn the cheese factory from the way it really sits in order to get the writing in there. Oh, that, that might be. That could be. Because this is really a tax map. Oh. That's what these are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, they try and draw the buildings in the shape that they are and in the position that they are, but it's primarily for tax uh, records. Oh, so okay. it could be that they turn the Grange yeah. lengthwise or this make is it say we don't yeah. know. We don't know. If it was here, we could say it was Chubbs, but it doesn't. What they have over there? You haven't heard of them. Let's we'll put Edith in there. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Now, where did I live here? <laughs> So how are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. I knew it up last week. Yeah, we got to go out there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's why there's got to be one of us liar cartoons in the damn family. Somebody's got to be there. Yeah, somebody has to do <laughs> Did you get that on tape? Uh -oh. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I remember your grandfather when Morgan had the store. And we sat down there one day and Morgan had some cantaloupes that were pretty bright. And he was trying to sell them. And your grandfather said, well, look at it just way. You can't tell by the looks of the frog how far you can jump. They may be better tasting than they thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. These are... are these all yours, David? Yeah, I took them up to Denny up to the top since last week and I just thought I'd bring them down. That's uh, Wendell Rittenhouse and uh, my oh, brother yeah. Butch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Bet you don't know that is. Bet you. To me, it doesn't look like that. I remember an older man. Boy, it sounds John so good. John? John? That's how it's going to get into it. Yep, John Petrie. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, you saw there smoking oh, that yeah. pipe. Oh, yeah, <laughs> chewing at it. You yeah. said that'd be okay, good man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember that old guy that lived down here all this time? Levy? Huh? Grace? Old John Levy? No, um, Hagedorn. Mike? To make it. Lightning strikes. Oh. Mike Hagedorn yeah. <laughs> had a nice Grand Page car. And well, now, you're dating us when you say that. We don't know anything about a Grand Page. <laughs> Oh, That's way before our time. That was the book we didn't get. <laughs> you see these? Yeah. Anyhow, we need a new car, so Walter bought this Grand Page thinking, well, there wasn't a blemish on it anywhere. 35 miles an hour is as fast as there are no blemishes on it. Couldn't go fast enough to hurt it. No. Well, you don't know that fence to make house down here. It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. Oh, man. Isn't it's that unbelievable, isn't it? Pretty. That's really Nice. Yeah. 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 You can do that. Hey, did you see the one where I became a big boy? Where is it? Where's the, where's the car? Oh, you're there again. Yeah. I must have been holding myself up on that doorpost. <laughs> or on your knees. Yeah, or out, yeah, probably sitting on my knees. Yeah. Oh, what a guy. I remember old Johnny Levy one time. Uh, it was Dolores' wedding, I think. And they had the reception up at the Grange Hall. And uh, he was pretty well, pretty well caught. He had an old Hudson, an old green Hudson. And he wanted to drink. And somebody went over and grabbed him out of the, well, somebody had done pull up. And just let it fill up a, you know, water out of the cooler and slap the cat back on. Mm -hmm. He just held her up there and he got about half down. He said, it's awful weak stuff. <laughs> <laughs> never never batted an eyelash. Uh, Remember Kenny Edwards? Oh he should yeah. come down. Walter and I had been out on Saturday night. We'd come home and it was kind of foggy. And uh, our bedroom windows were about this far from the floor. Nice weather like this. woke up in the night. Oh, we're all cussing and swearing going on out in front of our house, you know. He was going to kill his girlfriend. She oh got smarty to shoot him right there. That's the one I had. Girlfriend where his mom was in. And I said, well, we better call our deputy. He's like, don't you know who the dad is? He said, can't be a job. Yeah, no, that, that was a dead man. He'll, 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 he'll go on after that. Okay. Well, they argued, and they argued. And they argued and he had a gun in his hand. And he was going to take a gift over here right now. Where you lost your stomach. So finally, she ran down around the bar and said, OK. And he took off and went down the road. Come to the house, find me to call a cop. Oh, yeah. And so I come and get her. So he went around the square and he came back and he drove in our middle driveway. Well, we had the mercury light and we stood in the kitchen, Chuck and Dad and I looking out the kitchen. And Kenny comes up through the fence and staggers up on the porch and knocks on the door. And of course, we didn't ask him. Was this a pet there? And he says, Damn, you walk. He knew where he was. Well, to end up the story, come down the road and made this curve up here at the top of the hill. Make a oh, geez, that was a big day. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had pet deer here, too. Yeah. Can't do it now. It's yeah. We had pet deer and all that.
Sparta Church, weren't you? Okay, I knew I'd heard that before. Then uh, you got that little Mexican dog. Then you got that little Mexican dog. I had to carry him around my coat pocket. And I stopped up here to McAllister to the yard sale. She had a whole pile of feed bags there that I bought every one she had. And I laid them down on the ground and I laid, I set my little dog on those feed bags. And I said, now you stay there because mommy could look around some more. There he sat. And Mary looked up at the yard and she says, a funny dog mine's better than some teenagers. Here's these two teenage faces on the looking up screen door. <laughs> What's that you're looking at, Sandy? That's another book by uh, David Parrish, the uh, Geneseo historian. Oh. And uh, what we got it for is there's a reference in there to Oakland Motors in Tuscarora. Uh -huh. Oakland Motors, right up on the other side of you, they sold Buicks. They were selling Buicks there in 1916, which is earlier. Uh, if it was there or if it was on where the store was. I don't know. I thought it was on your side. Maybe not. In that row of stores that used to be? It might have been uh, Parma, wherever Parma was. When I moved up here in 45, there was still a row of stores before you got the railroad track. Well, the post office was in there. Yeah. And uh, then I don't ever remember. I remember two big doors. Yeah. <laughs> Rusty Pagano used to, I remember, he used to, he had an oil drum or something. He used to take his forks and play, play, play on it. He used to be over in there. How he got over in there? Because there was a, there was a garage there. And there was apartments upstairs. Now, there, there used to be another, there was a separate building for the post office? No, it was, it was all the road, right? Um, the house is next to us, you know. All right, up on, up on near the street, there was this crib. There, I don't think there's cement there now. But no, there used to be cement steps. Cement, no, just a cement. Just a cement slab. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, and the porch, had a porch on it. It was yeah. Had the porch had a roof. Yeah. And it was a wooden floor, and it was kind of up above the cement. Oh, yeah. Above the cement. Doug, who was the first people? They were in the apartments upstairs. They were around. He was a welder, Howard welder, Howard welder, and he had a brother that was Don. I heard of Don. He was good. And his wife was so nice. Of course, anybody come to town had anything new. We all thought Phyllis Pagano married Frank. We thought that was great. They fixed it upstairs, you know, into a uh, apartment for them, the dance hall and stuff. And then she had all new furniture and everything. And uh, then, uh, then the Hollands lived. Uh, Neva Holland and Stan lived up there in the apartments there. And then Johnny Carton. Now wait. So Johnny Cartwright's folks lived in the apartment, I think, after the, the because the post office went from the Dorn store when they burned out and they left. They, they went out of business and they moved over there. And then it moved from there up to Jim Carvery's place. Who's the uh, Dorn store? The Dorn. Ben, oh. Van Doren store? Dry goods or? No, just like Grandpa's uh, general store. And I had the uh, post office. <laughs> Goodbye now. Good to see you. 
I said every time I bring stuff, I want people to write right on it so we can get more information and then... Uh well, she needs any help getting in the van. Well, I guess not. Oh, I do that all the time. But that, that house is just a very little house. Yeah. So I just love it. When I first came up here, I used to be house cleaning. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I used, used to love to clean that woodwork. It was so pretty and it's all hand carved and that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. I thought that was a But I guess it's a place of a mess. I don't know what to tell me. Inside of the Yep, yeah. and big and uh, the the stairway going upstairs and the banister and and all the rosettes that are carved in the corners of the woodwork, you know, the arches and that. I didn't know they were hand carved, huh? I didn't know they were hand carved. Oh, sure, they must have been at that. Yeah. When that house was built, yeah. they didn't have machinery like that to duplicate like they do yeah. now. Well, I think I'm going to start picking up my stuff while it's still light.